Sean Osborne. Welcome to the eighth video in the series, 10 Steps to a Great Clarinet Section. These videos are a supplement for band directors, private teachers, and clarinet students to help them have more fun with the clarinet and to help improve their students' playing or their own playing. Please feel free to leave comments or questions or to share these videos. Also check out my performance videos and other instructional videos on orchestral excerpts, extended techniques, and reads. I'll be posting more all the time, so keep coming back. Also below are links to my websites, with lots of information, and recordings, available everywhere. Part 8. Articulation. Good articulation is consistent and controllable. Now that your tongue is in the right place, thanks to Part 7, and your clarinet is at the right angle, thanks to Part 4, proper articulation will be easier. You want to use tip to tip the tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed. This may lead you to believe that you need to point your tongue, but because of your sh position, the tongue is stretched a little blunt here, which is exactly what we want. You may hit the reed a millimeter above or below the tip of your tongue, but don't stray too far and tongue from here. You should also really hit the tip of the reed. If you're not touching the mouthpiece every time, you're too low down on the reed. Use only a small portion of your tongue. You can find what this feels like by practicing legato tonguing with a light tongue on open G. Short notes are the same motion and position the only difference being how long your tongue is on the reed. You should always tongue the first note that you play. No air balls. And you should stop short notes with your tongue. No huffing, as I call it. You can see the throat moving in and out with air when huffing. but not with a tongue stop. Get used to this feeling by practicing blowing against your tongue stopped reed. Keep your tongue in the sh position with most of it anchored on the sides of your teeth and think T for articulation, giving you tsh, tsh, as you flex the tip of your tongue while the rest stays in place. Do not anchor the tip of your tongue below your lower teeth and tongue with the middle of your tongue. This is a common problem called anchor tonguing. To recap, the minimum amount of tongue moving the minimum amount of distance touching the minimum amount of reed, just like in this video of the inside of my mouth. Please come back again for more videos, keep in touch, and keep on tooting. If you like what you saw today, please consider supporting me on my Patreon page. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help me post more free videos and music, and you can get exclusive content and previews, and that special satisfaction that comes from supporting the arts. Thank you.